Coach, this is one of my favorite topics, play calling. Okay. Uh, I think it's the toughest job in the country on game day. Uh, what's the most difficult thing for you game day calling the game? You know, it's just uh, making sure you get all your playmakers the ball, you know, and, and, you, and you distribute the ball. Obviously, uh, we do a good job of recruiting, so we've got some great players, and you got to find a way to make sure KJ's involved, make sure, you know, your running backs are involved. We have a great tight end in Pat Fryermuth and, and some of the other guys. But to me, getting all those guys involved and making sure you're not trying to force it, but getting them the ball as early as possible. Last year was your first time as a full-time play caller. This year, obviously, is your second growth from last year to this year. Yeah, I think in anything in life, the more experience you have, the better. You know, there's situations that happened last year that, you know, now I have that experience, and experience is key, you know. And so I think uh, just being able to be able to look back on those, maybe be able to anticipate some of those things that come up, that's going to be critical for me. When you got the job, you had to decide whether to call a place from the sidelines or upstairs. You decided upstairs. Why? Uh, for me, I'm a fairly emotional person, so I was able to pull myself away from the emotion of the game, you know, and uh, I also like to write things down. That's one of my things. Um, my handwriting is atrocious, but for, I can read it. <laughs> but so that's one thing up there. I can kind of write some things down a little bit easier. I can kind of separate myself from the emotion of the game. Mentors for you as play callers. Yeah, you know, I've had quite a few, um, you know. All the way back, you know, Ron Prince and obviously James Franklin at, at, at Kansas State was one. And then, you know, I've had Dana Dimmel. I thought he was a great play caller when I was at Kansas State um, under under Coach Snyder, um, which was unbelievable. Uh, Bill Lazor was my coach in college. You know, recently has become a real good mentor, mentor to me on that. Um, and then obviously Joe Moorhead and, and the way he goes about his business, that was, that was huge for me. So trying to get all those things together and, and come up with your own philosophy is the key. Sean Clifford takes over the offense this year. Tell us about him. Competitive kid, um, strong arm, much better athlete than people give him credit for. Um, love the way he approaches the game, love the way he approaches his business. Um, and he's a kid who loves football. I like to surround myself with guys who love football, and, and he's certainly one of those guys. Do you get nervous before the game? Uh, you know, I get nervous a little bit before the game, but, you know, my players have a tendency to calm me down. So, you know, I got great guys and great coaches, so. No, it's not too bad. Have a great game. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, Thank coach. you.